Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. And Corey Thompson joins us live from Solon Beef Days. And Corey, I know you promised us a Beef Days themed weather-wise question. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably stretching the uh, theme here just a little bit, but try to come up with something clever for WeatherWise this morning, a beef day related question. So your WeatherWise question is, how much would you have to add to Iowa's all time record high temperature to reach a suitable temperature to cook a steak medium? How far off is our all time record high from that level? I'll give you a hint. The all time record high is 118 degrees in Keokuk set in 1934 0 10 22 or 45 degrees added to that is that get you to a medium steak think about it for a couple minutes your first alert highlighting no major weather impacts over the next oh 24 hours across eastern iowa the winds will be lesser today and overall just looking at a really nice day across the area vinton city camp showing a bright sunny sky and we're seeing that here in solon as well temperatures near 60 and they'll start to increase now that the sun is up with dew points hanging out in the mid to upper 50s as well we're seeing very calm conditions because of the high pressure that is moving into the region being stuck between the high and the low you see off in the northeast United States yesterday gave us those gustier winds at times in the afternoon. But today, with just the high influencing our weather, we will likely keep things a bit calmer as well as keep the quiet weather around. You can see on Pinpoint Futurecast just some scattered passing clouds of possibility at times this morning. Otherwise, we are looking at a uh, relatively good start to the day, both temperatures and conditions wise. We're looking at overall a decent shot of uh, some puffy clouds this afternoon, as well as a very outside chance of a few isolated showers in a few spots, especially across the far north later this afternoon. But I think the vast majority of, the, uh, of us stay dry. Now into the day on Saturday, we'll start off with mostly sunny skies, but similarly, we'll build up some of that instability throughout the day, and that could lead to a scattering of showers and storms by afternoon into the evening. Overall, though, looking like it will be fairly limited, both in terms of intensity and just how much we see overall. Temperatures today will be in the 80s. We'll call it 80 degrees in Decorah, 84 in Iowa City. Winds on the north between about 5 to 10 miles per hour. All in all, not too bad for the second half of July, as well as, uh, well, a pretty decent weekend ahead. Temperatures stay reasonable Saturday and Sunday with a relatively cool air mass nearby. We're on the edge of it, but increasingly away from the center of it as we go toward the early part of next week, and especially by the middle of next week. That's when things will be much, much warmer. In fact, our chart of temperature compared to normal will be about 10 to 15 degrees above that mark by the time we get toward Tuesday and Wednesday and then no real sign of things improving at least toward the end of the month and the start of August above normal temperatures still favored during that time. So our nine day shows the change going from middle 80s starting today into the weekend to the mid 90s by the middle of next week. We will have partly cloudy skies for a good portion of that stretch of time, as well as a little bit of humidity. Yes, it will feel muggier as the heat sets in. That will make us, or give us rather, our first shot of some very summer-like conditions across the area. Weather-wise question today, we are live at in Solon for beef days here. How much would you have to add to Iowa's all-time record high, 118 degrees, to reach a suitable temperature to cook a steak medium? Choices range from 0, 10, 22, or 45. Jackie and Kristen, what do you think? Yeah, very, we appreciate the beef-related question. Our household cooks eats meat a little more rare, so I think I'll go C22. I'm not sure the exact for medium. <laughs> yeah, I think you said the record high was 108, I believe, and I feel like that's kind of low on a grill. I usually prefer... Oh, 118. 118. Okay. okay. That is really hot. Yeah. I'm going to go with B10. Okay, good guesses there, and Jackie had the right answer. Went from 118 to roughly 140, 140, 150 is kind of the guideline I saw on uh, a quick Google search this morning. Uh, so that was what it would take. So yes, fortunately, uh, not steak cooking weather. Even as we get into the hottest temperatures of next week, you still need the grill, and that's what they've got here at Soul and Beef Days. The grill will be fired up later this evening, as well as tomorrow. Yeah, the grill experts know all that knowledge. Yeah, <laughs> they can cook it perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Corey.